Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is Latican 014. In the last part, we, uh... St well, we just got finished talking to, like, some of these, uh... random creatures around here, and... Well, I guess there's nothing really left to do, so... Uh, um, I'm guessing not an enemy? Probably. We can just skip by him and, uh, continue on. There's nothing, uh, really of interest in here anyways. So, let's, uh, continue on and, uh, just kind of travel along here and collect any treasures we can along the way. Yeah, I didn't think I could collect it, uh, <laughs> I'm always out of room, sorry about this. But I don't really plan too far ahead, uh, well, especially with the item management. 32 slots, not very much. So, let's see, let's get rid of the body purifier. It's about a healing fog, okay, cool. And there's a new enemy, some jellyfish looking thing, so see what it can do. Oh, it's just called jelly. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna heal with dart, because we really want to finish um, Ashel's stuff first. So let's get his attack in before anyone else's. Nice. Okay. Cool. Everything's still good so far. Let's shoot him once. Rand is fully healed, so uh, we should be fine for quite a while. And yes, we're just going to keep healing with Dart. I don't know if this can kill him or not. Oh, okay. Nice. So, uh, sorry about the, uh, kind of late episode, because I just haven't uh, felt like kind of doing this game. <clears throat> it's been a while, and, uh, this game's a little more difficult, because, uh, I'm not really sure what exactly I'm doing most of the time. So, uh, you know, I kind of follow a guide, read that a little bit before I continue on with the next episode, so it takes a little bit more time for me. And, uh, you know, I know what's going on, kind of. But not not much of this end game stuff. But I am following guide, so anything I need to know is there. So I won't be failing in front of everyone. So I'm just kind of glad to be able to play this game uh, once again and share share it with everyone. Because uh, you know when I usually play a game, I I don't always play with a guide, but uh, more, majority of the time, um, if I'm after collectibles or something, uh, definitely go after that. I don't want to miss anything too special, anything bad. So, uh, hopefully, uh, no, no, no fails in front of you. At least that's what I'm hoping. No guarantees, though. So, uh, I didn't really pay attention to what they told me to do uh, for this teleportation part, but, uh, well, we'll see, I guess. I'd like to go back and collect that chest if possible. So, let's see if this will take me to where I want to go. Um... If I take it again, will it take me back? Yes, it will. Alright, how about this one over here? Oh, I think, I guess, I feel like that's kind of a pointless teleport, but, uh, whatever. I guess. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you might get less videos, uh, depending on what's going to happen Friday and uh, the days afterwards, because uh, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim gets released, and I will be gaming the, playing the hell out of that thing. I always love uh, Bethesda games. I've been there since uh, Morrowind, so it's been quite a while. And hopefully uh, it stays true to uh, the formula and keep it uh, nice. They have uh, simplified some systems, but I think that's uh, for the best or for the betterment of the game and community. Nice. Man, that 800 damage just puts everyone else to shame. Like, really, really badly to shame. <laughs> and I just love this music. I mean, you guys are listening to it, right? It... it it sounds like I'm in a boss battle every time a random battle comes on, which is never a bad thing. And look, he's gaining a... <laughs> oh, shark missiles. All right, I'm just going to heal with... How many healing items do we have? Healing rain, breeze... All right, let's use a fog. I mean, I'm going to run up to another item anyways. 
Might as well get this out of the way. <laughs> nice, a thousand freaking HP. Healed. Good stuff. So Hashel should be getting his uh, next Dragoon uh, magic uh, soon enough. So, can't wait for that. Oh, we got a Healing Falk back for our efforts. And he leveled up. Nice. Keep running. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oops. Needs to fog up on... I know this is a waste, but why not? His 20 HP. Just patch up his wounds. Oh, okay, a healing rain. Guess that's better. Alright, let's continue on with our little adventure. So hopefully I'm not speaking too loudly into the mic. I'm, ch I'm looking at my uh, Audacity uh, volume recording, and it doesn't seem to be hitting the edge of the screen too much. So let me raise my uh, microphone. Uh, that should do it. Oh, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Hopefully that spasm is over with. And on to the next screen. Ooh, Savan. The time has come. The foreseen evil is approaching. But my wish is now hereby accomplished after an eternity. Ah, nice. I am Savan. I'm a Wiggly fated to wait. The signet sphere you are looking for is safe. It is protected by the last Kraken. You know everything. I know that there is no time left as well. Who are you? What are you going to do? No. What are you going to make us do? I survived the Dragon Campaign and continued studying magic to reconstruct the Wingly world. Yes, even making myself ageless and immortal. However, the world outside the mirror hasn't required me. The world of Wingly's is no longer desired. I, an immortal body with no purpose, four thousand years of solitude deprived me of everything, even the significance of life and the meaning of death. But 7,000 years ago, I was saved by Rose. I found the meaning in, of life in the black monster in the mirror, Rose who now is confronting her fate. I restarted my study for Rose, and its crystallization is the psychedelic bomb and moot. We will stop the murderous deeds of Zeke, who continues the plan of the creator by using the attacking spell, the psychedelic bomb, and with moot, we will completely seal the moon that never sets. That is the answer to the riddle. No wonder it takes several thousand years. Moot will be completed soon, but in order to activate the psychedelic bomb, I need the courage of all of you. Our courage? It seems that my courage alone is not enough. The psychedelic bomb didn't work. I guess I don't have any courage. That's not true. You have courage, Savan. Yes, you have been fighting alone for thousands of years. But now, we are here with you. Yes, our intention is the same. You have to endure your own challenge, and we will pour the courage that is born from them into the psychedelic bomb and activate it. When you are ready, uh, ready, come to me. Alright, so, uh, can we go across? Uh, maybe not. You cannot go up. <laughs> oh, well, together the Savad's challenges are completed. Uh, Fawn has been waiting for thousands of years. You can't wait a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to say that, Uck. It's too similar to a certain word. Are you ready? Yes, we are. I have all the answers in front of me, so uh, we will not be failing this test. Let's get this started. Let me tell you, lots of the world's magic was created here. But the newborn magic is a mere hunk of materials. Without heart, the real power cannot be employed. But we are here, brave people who can remain just, and have the heart to bring completion to the ultimate magic. Please ignite the psychedelic bomb with your courage. Now proceed to the Chamber of Challenges. Awesome. Man, this little uh, light bridge kind of reminds me of Halo. <laughs> Speaking of which, the Anniversary Edition will be coming out the 15th, so I uh, hope everyone's looking forward to that. See ya, Kongle. See ya, Miranda. 
See ya, Albert. See ya, Meru. Heschel. And then Rose. Alright. Let's get it on. You're the last. Please be here with me till then. Alright. At last, we are starting. No, this will be the end of my rule. My fate of waiting as well. And before that, we can uh, save real quick. So this is for anyone that uh, does make a mistake while doing this. So, let's see. Let's go back. Let's see. What's the last save we did? 45 hours? And that's a lot of time invested in this game. Let's see where we're at right now. 46 and a half hour. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get this started. Shall we start the first challenge? Okay. I'm ready. So, yeah, you can save after uh, each challenge is completed. So that way uh, you can get a perfect run, but I already know what to do. Wow, neat looking area. It seems like it's just us. Why don't we fight for starters? Are you scared because you lost many times, or is this the cheap pride of a Giganto stopping you? Kongul and Rose changed. Rose doesn't say such things. You are not Rose. Then die. Don't tell me you're buddying up with your enemy. You fool! What happened to my plan? The unification of endiness. Have you found out the leader, or have you found the leader who replaced me? So we need to take his uh, sword to uh, win this test. So we're done with that. Simple enough. Emperor Dole, Kongol got new feeling. Kongol found new friends. Intention of Emperor Dole is in Kongol. Kongol won't avoid Emperor Dole. So, that was a pretty nice looking area. I like that black and red. We saw the courage of a Giganto. Real courage can be obtained when a person is released from the bonds of the past. Alright, so, uh, you know, I think this is a good place to end off. I mean, it's a short episode, but I'm trying to keep them as short as possible and not try to overload uh, too much. And they're easier for rendering, like I've said before. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. In the next part, we will continue on with the rest of these challenges against the, uh, our party of Dragoons. And hopefully, uh, come out triumphant. Actually, we will come out triumphant. I mean, how else are we going to get farther in the game, right? So, thank you guys, and I will see you all till then.